today's tutorial is about number of equivalence relations in a finite set before watching this video please watch four videos related to types of relations okay now consider a finite set a set 1 2 3 4 and an equivalence relation on e now a relation is said to be equivalence if it is reflexive that is a a belongs to r in this case 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 belongs to r so this relation is reflexive a relation is said to be symmetric if a b belongs to r implies b a belongs to r here 1 2 and 2 1 3 4 4 3 so this relation is symmetric and a relation is said to be transitive if a b b c belongs to r implies ordered pair a c belongs to r this relation is transitive also 1 2 2 1 1 1 3 4 4 3 3 3 belongs to r so this relation is reflexive symmetric and transitive so it is an equivalence relation now this equivalence relation partitions the given set into this partition here we can take p1 is set 1 2 because 1 is related to 2 and 2 is related to 1 2 is related to 2 and 2 is related to 1 so we get partition in that p1 first set is set 1 2 and second set is set 3 4 because 3 is related to 4 and 4 is related to 3 4 is related to 4 so this is a partition of the set e set set 1 2 and set 3 4 so an equivalence relation partitions the given finite set conversely for the same set consider a partition partition is first set p1 set 1 2 3 and second set p2 set 4 this is a partition of this set partition means a set p1 p2 etc is said to be a partition if union of pi equal to a and pairwise intersection is null set and they are non empty sets pi's are non empty such that p1 union p2 union etc union pn is a and their pairwise intersection pi intersection pj equal to null set for i not equal to j so this is a partition now when the parti partition is given we can find corresponding equivalence relation 1 is related to 1 2 is related to 2 3 is related to 3 4 is related to 4 then here these three elements are related to each other so we have 1 2 2 1 1 3 3 1 2 3 3 2 so we get this equivalence relation so corresponding to an equivalence relation we have a partition of the set and corresponding to given partition we can find the equivalence relation so there is a 1 1 on 2 functions between set of all equivalence relations to set of all different partitions of a set A. So the number of equivalence relations of A is equal to number of different partitions of A. Now consider a set null set. Partition of A is null set itself. So number of partition is 1. We can take some examples then we can derive equation or a method to find number of partition of finite set now here a is null set so number of partition is 1 when a is set 1 singleton set partition of a is set set 1 so number of partition is 1 when a consists two elements 1 2 there are two partitions we can partition this 1 to as set 1 and 2 here 1 is related to 1 2 is related to 2 or second partition is set 1 2 1 is related to 2 2 is related to 1 so there are two partitions when a set consists two elements there are two partitions when a set consists three elements 
these are the different partitions set set 1 set 2 set 3 set set 1 2 set 3 then set 1 3 1 is related to 3 2 is related to 2 itself 2 is isolated here 2 is related to 3 they are related to each other and 1 is isolated in this case all the three elements are related to each other so these are the five partitions of the set a a with three elements now here there are four elements okay these are elements of a set one two three four okay for instance take it as one two three four these are isolated now in this case in this partition two elements are related to each other there are six such partitions two elements are related for example one is related to two three is isolated four is isolated such a types of relations there are six such type of partitions okay now in this case in these three cases there are p1 and p2 one is related to two they are related to each other and three and four are related to each other this type there are three partitions now remaining partitions are and here these three are related to each other and this is isolated okay these four are in these four cases three elements are related to each other and the last one is isolated now here four elements are related to each other so here there are here we have six then plus four ten here we have five partitions so there are total 15 partitions so when n equal to 4 number of elements in a set is 4 there are total 15 partitions total number of partitions when n of a is equal to 4 is 15 now number of partitions we have find that number of partitions when a is null set number of partitions is 1 when a is singleton set number of partition is 1 when a consists two elements number of partitions is 2 when a consists four elements number of partitions is 15 this is a special sequence which is known as bell numbers now we can find next bell number using this triangle this is an easy method to find number of equivalence relations. How to write this triangle? Now first write 1. B0 is 1. Bell numbers are denoted by Bn. B0 is 1. B1 is 1. Now write 1. Copy that 1 in the second row. Then add 1 and 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Now copy this 2 here to the leftmost side of this triangle copy this 2 to left side then 1 plus 2 is 3 2 plus 3 is 5 again copy this 5 to the leftmost side here write 5 2 plus 5 is 7 3 plus 7 is 10 5 plus 10 is 15 copy this 15 5 plus 15 is 20 20 plus 7 is 27 10 plus 27 37 then 37 plus 15 is 52 so when n of a is equal to 5 total number of equivalence relations is 52 similarly we can find next row bell numbers also can be find using this reference relation bn plus 1 equal to sigma k equal to 0 to n nck combination nck bk by using this relation we can find this bell numbers 1 1 2 5 15 52 2 0 3 etc okay now here there are two examples for using this equation start with b0 and b1 b0 is 1 b1 is 1 when n equal to 1 we get b1 plus 1 that is b2 when n is 1 k equal to 0 1 so put k equal to 0 to 1 sigma k equal to 0 to 1 n is 1 so 1 c k b k 
So we get two terms 1c0 b0 plus 1c1 b1. 1c0 is 1, b0 is 1, 1c1 is 1, b1 is 1. So the answer is 2. When n equal to 2, we get b3 that is 2c0 b0 plus 2c1 b1 plus 2c2 b2. When n is 2, k equal to 0, 1, 2. So put k equal to 0, 2, 2. When n is 2, k is 0, b, k, b, 0. Then when k is 1, we get 2c1, b1. When k is 2, 2c2, b2. 2c0 is 1, b0 is 1. 2c1 is 2, b1 is 1. Then b2 is 2. 2c2 is 1. Okay, this value is b2, 2c1 is 1. So we get 1 plus 2 plus 2, which is equal to 5. Similarly, we can find b4, b5, etc. Okay, thank you.